In this video, I'm going to show you a nice little way how you can have automatic deployments on your shared hosting with cPanel. Uh, we are going to be creating a staging server for our site and we are going to have branches uh, that depending on which one you push to your server they are going to be published either on your production server or your staging server. Uh, for this we are going to be using git for cPanel and of course git in our actual project. For you to be able to follow this tutorial, you would have to have some prerequisites. Of course, you need to have a hosting account. Uh, you need to have a hosting account with cPanel and also uh, it needs to support Git. So a lot of new hostings uh, actually do support Git, uh, but you can check that out if you just go to your cPanel, just write Git. And if you get this Git version control, that's it. One more thing you are going to be needing is an SSH access to your site and depending on which hosting you are, you are either going to get that automatically or you can request it from your hosting company. We need an SSH access so that we can push our changes to the Git on the cPanel. First of all, I'm going to create two subdomains. One is going to be called productionwatchandlearn.com and the other one is going to be called stagingwatchandlearn.com. So you just go to subdomains and I'm going to create a subdomain called staging and the document root of that is going to be public HTML stagingwatchlearn.com. Okay, create this go back and now I'm going to create a subdomain called production.watchlearn.com and the document root for that will also be public HTML production.watchlearn.com. Now if you are working on a real project you probably don't need to create this subdomain because your production domain is actually the domain of your project. For me, for example, that would be just watchlearn.com, but since I'm just showing you this and I don't wanna screw up my site, I'm going to create a subdomain which is going to act as our production. But as I said, if you are working on a real project, you probably don't need to create this subdomain. Okay, now that this is done, let's create a Git repository for our project. So in your cPanel, you just search for Git and then you go to Git version control. As you can see, I already have one repository here. I'm going to create another one. And uh, we are not going to be cloning the repository so you can turn this off. So now I'm going to define a repository path and this is not going to be in public HTML. We don't wanna put it there. You are just going to put it in your home folder. I'm going to call this one cPanel deploy. This is going to be uh, my directory, which is going to be holding our repository and the repository name is going to be cPanel deploy also. Okay, and now we just create it. Now that you have created this, you will get the information how you can add your origin, uh, your remote server to uh, your Git repository locally. So uh, we, I'm going to leave just this here and I'm going to show you the site that we are going to be working on. I just downloaded this from the internet. This is theory template. First of all, we are going to initialize Git for this project. And then we are going to set this Git to uh, know about this remote repository so that we can push our changes to it. So first of all, we are just going to initialize our Git for this project. So you just do Git in it. Uh, next thing we are going to be doing, we are going to add that remote repository uh, to our Git locally. So you just go right here, copy this, paste it here, and that's about it. You added your remote origin. Uh, next thing, we are just going to git add everything. And now I'm going to first commit it. So I'm just going to call my commit first commit. And now once this is done, I'm going to push everything to the server. So git push origin master. And as you can see, this worked. Uh, our code is now pushed to the master. And if I go to my browser 
and you go to your Git version control, uh, you can see this cPanel deploy repository. We can manage it. You don't have a lot of options here. This is not something like GitHub or GitLab or Bitbucket or something like that. So you can check out currently checked out branch, which is master. You have this first commit that we just added right here. We can click on it. We can see the files in it and so on. So this is our repository and this right now works. So what we want to do next is actually when we push something to the server, we want to, to display it somewhere because if we go right now to the production uh, watchlearn.com or if we go to staging watchlearn.com as you can see, we are just getting the empty directories. So we need some way to tell Git when we push something uh, to the master branch, uh, then we want to copy all of the files to public HTML production .com. Or if we are on a staging branch, when we push something to the staging branch, then we want uh, to fill out this site. So this subdomain to do that. Well, at least for just pushing to production, you can actually use uh, this cpanel.yml file. I'd actually try to do this video with just this because it's a simpler way, uh, but this cpanel.yml file doesn't have a lot of options. So for example, we can push to staging or production depending on the branches and so on. It either doesn't have those options or I just couldn't find them in the documentation because this is the old, all the documentation that they have. And as you can see, it's pretty simple. So you just define deployment tasks, uh, you define where you want to push something and then you define the files that you want to push when you make changes to your repository. And that's about it. So we are not going to be doing that. Uh, what we are actually going to be doing is we are going to define a post receive hook. I find found this code online. Uh, we are just going to configure it a little bit so that it works for us. Okay, so now I'm going to SSH into my uh, hosting account. Uh, you can do this step uh, either via your SSH or you can connect to it via FileZilla or even use a file manager in cPanel. But I'm going to do it this way. So we are going to go right here. And if I LS this, you can see this cPanel deploy directory that we created. This is our repository. So I'm going to CD into that. And now here, if we go to, uh, if we CD into Git, so dot Git and LS this, you can see that you have hooks right here. So we are going to go to hooks and uh, the hook that we are looking for is this post receive hook, which is actually already set up by the cPanel to receive that cPanel.yml file that I talked about just a little while ago. So we are going to delete everything in it and add our code. And I'm going to be using nano editor for that. So we are just going to do nano post receive. And as you can see, this is the content of this file. So I'm going to delete all of this. We are just going to leave this bin sh right here and I'm going to paste in my code. So uh, I, as I said, I didn't write this code and I'm not an expert of what actually this does, but a simplified way of putting it is we are just saying if the branch is master, then push all the changes to home public HTML production dot because this is the directory for our production server. Uh, and if you are on a staging branch, so if you push something to the staging branch, then push all of your changes to the public HTML staging.watchlearn.com. So this is our directory for our staging server. And uh, we are just echoing changes pu uh, pushed to staging, changes pushed to production. And that's about it. So now I'm just going to quit out of this and save it. You do control X. You want to save the changes and the file to file name to write to is going to be post receive. Okay, so that should actually be it. And let's hope this works. So what we want to do now is let's just push our site to the master branch. And we are going to do that by doing actually, we need to 
make some changes uh, to our master branch because if we do git status right now as you can see uh, nothing to commit we have nothing to commit so we can push anything up because nothing has changed so i'm just going to go to my code editor and uh, this is our project i'm just going to go into index.html file and uh, instead of welcome to theory i'm going to say deploying to master we are going to save this git add git commit so we are changing the title and now we are just going to push this to our server okay so as you can see we are getting this message right here changes push to production so this post receive hook must have worked let's check it out so if i go to production watchlearn.com as you can see deploying to master and our site is online great so you don't have to use ftp filezilla and all that sort of other applications uh, you can just use git and i think this is the correct way to do it uh, to handle it on your shared hosting okay so our staging is still empty so let's try to push something to our staging site so first of all, we need to create a staging branch because currently we only have a master branch. So let's do that. So you just do git branch and we are going to call it staging. And now we want to check out to that branch. So you just do git checkout staging. Okay, so now we are in a staging branch. And now if I go to my code editor and change this from deploying to master to deploying to staging, we just do git add, git commit, deploy to staging. And now we want to push it, but we are not going to do git push origin master, but we are going to be doing git push origin staging. And changes push to staging. Great. If we go to staging.watchlearn.com, refresh it. As you can see, deployed to staging. And this one is saying deployed to master because uh, we are using two different branches with some changes on them. So this is the way you would use Git and uh, cPanel to have an automatic deployments for staging and production sites. And how you would work with this is at least how it is usually done. So you are working on some feature for the site. You would create a separate branch just for that feature. Once the feature is completed, you would merge that feature into your staging branch and then you would push that branch and then the client can say, okay, that, that feature is good, that feature is not good, you need to make some changes and so on. After the client approves the changes, you would then merge that feature branch, so not the staging branch, remember that, not the staging branch, but that feature branch to your master and then you would push master to the server and uh, your changes would be on production. So this has been it for this video. I'm going to leave the link to the code for the post receive hook in the description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.